Welcome to our ongoing weekly clip series, Wolf, Wolf Bites. Bites! Hi, I'm Lynette Wolf. And I'm Brian Wolf. We're, We're the, the Wolf Couple. You got a yes to will you sell for what you owe on the property information sheet. Caution though, you should instruct your VA. Now if you look on the sheet, it says that do not ask this question if there's more than a $35,000 gap between the loan amount and the asking price because if they ask that question in the wrong place, it will alienate the seller and probably upset them a little. For example, if a seller has a house they're selling for 200, but they only owe 100, but they're asking 190, you don't ask them will they sell for what they owe. It would be embarrassing. Of course, they're not gonna sell for what they owe. So make sure your VA understands not to ask that question unless there's a small gap in the middle. So here we go, I'm gonna go over the script, assuming I'm calling them back, the VA's got a yes answer, and there is a small gap between the asking price and the loan balance. Ron's closing call, subject two. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi, uh, Harold, uh, uh, this is Ron Legrand calling you back about the house that uh, my assistant discussed with you folks yesterday. You have a minute? Sure. Sure. All right. Well, listen, I've got all the facts here and uh, you've indicated that you will sell the house for what you owe on it. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's, isn't that what we said? Sure. Okay, sure. all right. This is my wife, Maud. Yeah, well, hi, Maud. Hello. Okay. Well, listen, folks, I can not- He's hard of hearing, sorry. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I'll speak up, Harold, and let you translate because I'm married to one of those myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right? You bet. Okay. Well, listen, um, I can come uh, see the house and uh, likely buy it and close as, as soon as you're ready. And um, I'm happy to pay all the closing costs since you're selling it for what you owe. But the only way for me to do that is to take over your debt. Now, that means that I'll buy your house and I'll make the payments when you and I agree that, that I'll start. But the loan will stay in your name until sometime in the future when I get it cashed out. Will that be a problem for you? No, that shouldn't be the problem. That's not a problem. No. Uh, all right. Well, then the only thing left for me to do is to make an appointment and come see the house. We'll do that right now. All righty. One last question. If uh, I come to your house and I like what I see and, and, and you like the deal and we agree on the details, are you ready to make a decision now and sell the house while I'm there? What, what do you think, honey? I think we are. We're ready. We're ready to move. We're ready all to right. go. Well, then all I need from you is a date and a time, and I'll be there. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow? What time? Uh, 3 o'clock we get up from our nap. Okay. All right. Well, I'll make it 3 o'clock, and when I, before I get there, could you have the paperwork ready on the house so I can take a look and see what you got, please? What paperwork? Is oh, that? anything you have in you. I'm sure you got a big folder with all the paperwork you got when you bought I the do. house. I do. I keep yeah. all the paperwork. Harold doesn't understand that. Okay. Just get He's a, organized. That's fine. Just get what you got so you can be prepared when I get there. And uh, I'll see you at 3 o'clock. Sounds Great. good. All right. See you then. We love it when you like a clip. It's even better when you leave a comment. And you can even share it with a friend. Remember to subscribe to get notified of our awesome new videos.